Just use like a roller. Roller? Mm, you probably could, right? But you get a two inch roller trying to rub in the whole three foot piece of, of material that you're using. Yeah. So sponge works real nice. That's what they actually want you to use anyway. All right, we talked about the weight of the roll. All right. Yeah, we just say average about 100 pounds. Okay. Uh, we're stocking it up on the roof. All right, where are we supposed to stock these rolls on the roof? The beams. On the gutter. Where the beams are. Where the beams are. Yeah. 10 feet apart. 10 feet apart. Yeah, let's spread them out. Let's not just roll them all in one too. spot, right? We're not going to be tearing off. <laughs> Where you have to be turning up. Well, kind of like Most of the time you're hoisting with a crane, though. Yeah. So, the crane, how many rolls are on one pallet? 6 to 30. No, like 9? 9 on a pallet? No. 12? Well, it's 30. Usually about 20. You usually about 20 rolls on a pallet. Alright, so that's about 2,000 pounds. When you're hoisting with a crane, you really can't move, boom that in too far. So, you're going to try to set it 6 feet in. If you got a metal deck, you're going to set it on the beam. All right? You could possibly put another one a little bit further if you can. Try not to put them next to each other. All right? But that crane's not going to be able to reach in that much. All right? So spread them out. Okay? Concrete deck's a little different, but you still you don't want to put everything all in one spot either. All right? Get it up on the roof. They got uh, carts right now that uh, have fork attachments to it. They're R800. From Garlock has a fork attachment to it. I can pick up the pallet and move it to wherever you want. For 12 grand. <laughs> well, whatever. It stays on your back, doesn't it? <laughs> or they have uh, pallet jacks. Pallet jacks move the rolls around just as easy. Right, all you this just land them on a cart. Yeah, but now you have to pick them all up. You're going to perch your back that way. Okay? It's a lot of extra moving around that you don't really need to move around, right? <laughs> Panel jack works good. Go <laughs> home wherever you need it. And you can use it for insulation, whatever. Right? So kind of you guys are different. Don't you know we always got a problem? He's taking a video. Well, you try not to, but yeah. That's just yeah, yeah. Call this talk to they throw them all up on the roof at once, you know, and then you got to start moving them all around. Right? <laughs> uh, all right, the three different uh, ways modified vitamins can be applied. What'd you say they were? Yeah, yeah, three different ways they can be applied. Hot, cold, torch, hot, and the cold applied, yeah. Right? Anyone, and you've done cold applied before? Yeah. yeah. Did you use uh, buckets? Those, 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 uh, yeah. in, a in a barrel, and then you had to mix it up, uh, mix it up and dip buckets out of it to get it? No, I just came in, we had stuff with the, what you call it, a pulp or something, something kind of like a hot pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so just drip yeah, straight it out there. Okay. Yeah. Anyone ever spray cold applied down before? Squeegee. Squeegee, yeah. Yeah, that's where you're, that's where you're pouring out of a bucket or, or you yeah. got the 55 gallon drum that you're yeah, taking you it out of there. And then you squeegee it and then you're setting rolls on that. Yeah. That's the that's one I was talking about. The, you got to heat weld the, 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 heat the seams, seams right? yeah. and the lamps yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Why do you want to heat weld the seams? It won't catch fire. Fires, right? Yeah, they're trying to keep down on the fires and stuff. Like the so they use heat guns, they use a cold apply, this way yeah. you're not using hot tar. You could apply that insulation down with it also, yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. Do all your rolls of felt with it. Do your gravel with it.